The fullback was a huge part of the standard NFL offense not that long ago. Placed often between the running back and the quarterback, the main purpose of the position was to provide the running back a lead into the hole of a run play, as well as to have his own opportunity to bulldoze defenses. They were traditionally bigger than the average running back, but smaller than the offensive line. So not only did they have to have great acceleration as to not slow down the running back, but also needed to be powerful enough to block oncoming defensive linemen, linebackers, whatever you needed to get your running back to the next level. Additionally, some fullbacks are utilized as receivers out of the backfield, catching short passes or serving as a safety valve for the quarterback. Some notable fullbacks throughout the years were the likes of Larry Zonka, John Riggins, Mike Allstott, not to mention everyone's favorite, Watt, Derek. Even the likes of Jim Brown and Franco Harris at one time or another played fullback during their careers. It goes to show you just how important the position was. Most of these names are in the Hall of Fame. Of course, we already know Derek Watt is the best of the bunch. And that's a fact. Yet today, the position is clearly a dying breed. But why exactly is this? This video will break down some of the reasons why the fullback position has gone by the wayside and if they could potentially ever make a comeback in the pass heavy league. What to do ladies and gentlemen, this is Triple DS. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 2000 subs. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a deep dive as to what happened to the fullback position. Look, let's just go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. One of the big reasons why the fullback is not as prominent as it was before is the evolution of most offensive schemes. Many NFL teams have shifted towards a pass heavy offense that prioritizes spreading the field with multiple wide receivers and tight ends. This trend has led to the decreased emphasis on traditional power formations that would require the use of a fullback. This one kind of goes hand in hand with the first reason, but another reason for this is the flat out rule changes that have happened over the years. Rule changes over the years have favored passing offenses, making it easier for quarterbacks and receivers to operate in space. This has diminished the need for traditional fullbacks who would excel in power running formations. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, fullbacks were mainly there for blocking with occasionally catching passes out of the backfield. Due to the rule changes and the changing of offensive schemes, naturally, you're gonna look for more versatile players, a little bit more athletic than probably your average fullback. Modern NFL offenses place a premium on versatility these days, with teams often preferring players who can fulfill multiple roles on the field. I'm not saying that fullbacks can't do that, they can sometimes run the ball pretty effectively and can kind of replicate what a tight end can do, but they can't do either as well as the others if that makes sense. Whereas a wideout, you can put him in the backfield, just look at where you can put Debo Samuel, you can put him at running back, you can put him at wideout, in the slot, hell, put him at tight end as long as he doesn't have to block for very long. Alternatively, a lot of blocking tight ends can fill the void of a fullback relatively easily. But look, I'm not saying that fullbacks are not athletic. Hell, even that 300 pound offensive guard is athletic. They just aren't quite as fast as a running back or a tight end and not nearly as strong or as big as an offensive lineman. While back in the day, you kind of had the best of both worlds with the fullback because everyone is so at an extreme, if that makes sense. That's kind of worked against the fullback in later days in life, right? If that makes sense. You guys get what I'm saying there? Why have a fullback if you can just put a lineman, considering how athletic some of these guys are now? With the limited amount of spaces, some teams just may opt to allocate roster spots to positions that are deemed more valuable in today's game. Why have the fullback when you can get an extra wide out if you need it? Or not even wide out for anything. It could be a running back. It could be a defensive back. To put it simply, the fullback is just flat out not as needed, especially when you consider how fast paced the game has become and just truly how quick some of these tackles and guards are in today's game. One thing I believe that the fullback will always do better than a lineman or a tight end though is have a greater sense of ball carrier vision. 
That vision is crucial as the running back follows them behind in certain run plays. So if the fullback doesn't have a good field of vision, the running back is just going to run into a wall time and time again. So that is one thing that fullbacks do have going for them. I don't want to completely bash on fullbacks this entire video. So they do contribute something. Otherwise, they would be completely extinct in the NFL. But more on that later. While we keep talking about the NFL, how they're influencing X, X Y, and Z, why don't we take it a step further and look into college? Similar to the NFL, many college programs have moved away from using fullbacks, flat out just leading to fewer fullback prospects entering the NFL. This shift does trickle up to the professional level as teams adapt to the skill sets of incoming players. So, you know, if, if things were to change, I think it kind of starts with college college needs to go kind of back to more i formations etc etc if college doesn't have a use for fullbacks what will the professional league be able to do the fullback is not extinct as of yet as if the scheme allows it you can definitely keep one in your roster additionally there are teams like the ravens and 49ers that know how to make the most out of their fullbacks with kyle use check being the top of the class kyle is the ultimate dual player for the 49ers he can run catch and most importantly lead blocks his combined athleticism and strength is more than enough for the 49ers to have him in their roster but the sad reality for the position is that as the game progresses it seems as if it's headed to a heavier and heavier passing scheme while the running game will always be a factor to an extent there are other positions that can do things very similarly that a fullback can getting into an i position lineup makes it very obvious that the play will be a run for the most part for a fullback to have a spot in this league they will have to take their talents to a different level whether that is getting stronger or more agile but then again if you're able to do that anyway why wouldn't you switch to the position that would welcome it even more specifically if you became a better pass catcher why wouldn't you become a tight end instead of risking your football career on remaining in a position that year after year seems to be on the decline so for me unless the landscape of the nfl reverses back to the days of a run heavy league it seems like the fullback position is more likely to regress even more than actually make a comeback but there you guys have it this is what i believe has happened to the fullback position to wrap it all up in a nice little bow the schemes just do not warrant a need for a fullback a roster spot is a special spot in the world what a roster spot in the NFL is very, very hard to come by. Unless you're one of the best like Juszczyk, why would a team use it on you if you're not really contributing to the team? We'll see what happens, but that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if I miss something, be sure to let me know in the comments. I do read them, and I do like having discussions with you guys. I appreciate you guys watching to the end of this video. And until next time, I just burped. Shoop boy!